Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here for Alter New. And this card is part of my focus post and today I'm playing with the Cake Love Set. Now I want to be doing some alcohol marker colouring so I'm actually stamping my image out with the Alter New Permanent Black Ink which is alcohol marker friendly. And I want to make this a little birthday cake and I thought it would be fun to actually have it as a layered cake. So I've just grabbed my Copic Multiliner and I'm drawing in a couple of lines to make my layers. Now if you wanted to do this and you weren't confident to draw them in directly with your line Multiliner then you could always draw it in with a pencil first and then go over it with the Multiliner and then erase the pencil afterwards. I'm using the artist markers today and this is the there's sort of four reds in the in the set and I've just got the lids off to the side and I'm actually going to be coloring it from the darkest up to the lightest and nothing too fancy here I'm literally pretty much just laying down the color trying to leave it a little bit lighter in the center of the actual cake just to make it look like it's rounded now I've kept the colouring in real time today so I will leave you here for a moment while I finish this little image and I'll be back when all of the colouring is done. So now I'm going to use the coordinating die to cut out the image and this just leaves a really small white border around the cake itself which I don't mind because it's going to help it stand out on the background. I want to actually add some candles to this cake and these are black candles I know it's a bit weird isn't it more like sparklers I actually was kind of thinking they might have been sparklers. So these little images this star and the sticky thing are from the wood palette background set and I actually do fussy cut these out but I won't make you sit through that because it does take me a little bit of time <laughs> to do that but I think it was worth it. This is actually the front of my card. I have a top fold card here and I've popped it into my Misty and this is I think it's actually the largest of the half tone hearts and I know it's already a half tone heart <laughs> but what I want to do is actually sort of shade out the colors just to give it like um, a two tone half tone heart. So my base color was the peach perfect and then on the top sort of this pinky color is the coral berry 
and I'm just using a nearly dry baby wipe just to sort of remove some of the ink from around the heart and this is actually where I love my Misty the most look at that <laughs> the whole center didn't stamp out but no drama just laid it back down and press it again now the sentiment today I'm going to take from the layered cupcake set this has one of my favorite fonts from Molten U and some of the nicest sentiments as well so I'm keeping it really simple and adding just this sweet for my sweet friend just it with some black ink and I do actually stamp this twice because I wasn't really happy with the way I stamped it the first time I actually don't know if I've ever stamped this one before it might be a new um, I haven't actually seasoned that stamp I think so but by having it in the misty just made it so easy I've got some micro glue dots that I'm adding to the front of my little sparklers now they're sparklers and not candles anymore I don't know that I'd like black candles and then I can just actually lay the cake directly on top and pick them up I really like the way that the micro glue dots hold they're a real strong hold time for some glitter and I've got my quickly <laughs> quickie glue pen and I'm adding that to both the stars and the icing and the center of the flower and then just some really fine prisma glitter and I've had this stuff forever it just doesn't want to ever seem to run out I've actually got another jar just in case I was going to run out but <laughs> that's just not happening and then all that's left to do is pop up my little cake image on the front of my card so I have a couple more cards to share over at the blog today and they're using the same Cake Love stamp set so head over and check them out. So till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye!